the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose for destruction. And set them in their own land. Set them in their own land. People shall take them. People shall take them to their place. The house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and maids. And they shall take them captives and choose captives. They were captives. They shall rule over their oppressors. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So you should know these things, brother. You should know that. Think I do? You need the fringes. Where the fringes at? Yeah, and I wear spiritual garments. Yeah. I wear spiritual garments. Let's see what the most. Deuteronomy that. Chapter 10, verse 12. And okay. now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Brother, this all love. He is not here to argue. We're not here to, uh, to do no nothing like that. No ill will. We we showing you love. That's all we're doing here, right? Yeah. But to fear the Lord. Fear the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord. We must, right. give me fringes. Get, we must keep the commandments of the Lord. You know that, right? I'm not I'm not, I'm not no arrows at you. No, 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 is keeping the commandments right. of the Most High. So, so listen. Thou shalt in no ways rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. When we're not supposed to, we're supposed to correct you, brother. That's love. That's you know, we're following not hate, and that, that's you know, we're supposed to love our brother and we we'll correct our brother. Like you don't have your fringes on. That's a sin. Give me your numbers 15 and 38. Let me show you that you're you're out of order right now. You understand? Stop. You shooting? What you call the brother? Nothing. I don't see y'all doing the week at all. Y'all yeah. fringes. So it's the only day that you can pick the good just fringes. Them, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Thank you. You're welcome. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments Read on. throughout their generations. For as long as we live, as long as we're generating on this planet, we're supposed to wear fringes. Go ahead. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Mm -hmm. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. Pay attention to this part. That you may look upon it. That you may do what? Look upon it. That you may look upon it. Uh huh. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do what? And do them. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's the purpose of having fringes on. So how do you have fringes on and you're talking evil? You see how you don't believe in the scriptures? Everybody claim that they believe. But your action is what's going to show whether or not you believe. But your action is what's going to show whether or not you believe. But your action is what's going to show whether or not you believe. All the praises and the honor goes to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Quidash, and double honors to the elder apostles and even the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you other brethren, you fellow believers and followers of this faith. Also shalom to you few sisters as well, you sincere ones. And shalom to the hopefully elect, shalom to the elect. I want to touch on this video real quick here if I can. And I'll try to keep it short, see where the spirit goes. Um, this video was titled, Israel, Where Your Fringes, right? So... It seems like uh, these Jakes of the IUIC, and they may be sincere in what they teach because they got it from Bishop Nathaniel, right? And it seems as though this Jake that came up, he tells them, the first thing they tell them is where where your fringe is at. Maybe he, I believe he knew he was a, an Israelite. So this is why we would never be able to fellowship or uh, have unite with these camps. We're just, at Great Millstone, we're just separate, right? Um, but the first thing they did was attack this Jake for not wearing the fringes. And I don't understand, did they even read the letters of Paul, where Paul 
was using guile and so forth. We wouldn't do this to this Jake. Jake would come up and we would try to uh, convince him, convert him, but in a way, in a matter with guile, see where his head at is on the name. If he wanted to know the name, he's up to learn. And that's their thing if that's what they teach. I remember one guy came up with a flu and he wasn't even in the congregation, obviously. And they told him, uh, take off your hat. You can't have your hat up here while we're teaching the word. You know, you know, some of these brothers just don't know. And your job is to try to convince them and convert them, you know, through spirit and truth. Now, it's still up to the Lord. But we're going to go into some scriptures, maybe look up some words and dive a little deeper, if I can, you know, in this topic. Let's go to Mark 12 and 29. Um, where's 12, 12 and 29. Let's see where this is. Mark 12 and 29. It says, Yahawasha, and Yahawasha answered him, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, I can almost quote this, 12 and 30. Hear, O Israel, uh, and thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. So you hear these Israelite jakes in the, lined up in the purple of gold said we must love, we must follow the commandments, which we should because <clears throat> to the best of our ability because that is our heritage. But what they don't understand is yeah, Howard didn't need us to wear borders of blue and fringes to reference him. And if, in fact, over time, you know, our people started wearing those fringes in the borders of blue and became wicked, right? This See, the Lord already knew. He set it all up. We were doing it. We're fools for the Lord, by the way. He set it all up where ultimately he would have to send his son to bring us back through faith, right that's what he had to do now we're not teaching like a christian church we do believe in wearing uh, garments in our borders of blue but we have to it have to be through faith this is what revelation 2 and 10 is about and that's what this uh jake he quoted at the end of the verse you know you got to have faith and that's where it comes at when you're looking at um too much of the garments in the the it's supposed to be phylacteries as well, teflon, phylacteries, you know. When you look at so much of that, we're going to give some examples real quick, you know. And he says it's your actions that's going to show whether or not you believe. Well, it's going to come down to faith. That's what it's going to boil down to. And faith without works is dead. So, yeah, it's a little of both. So let's go to... Um, Let's go to Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Heal, heal Israel. The Lord our, Lord, Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shalt talk to them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest in thy way and thou liest down. And when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as fontlets between thine eyes, right? And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. So we can clearly see that we're in a situation now, you know, and this is what Yahawashah came for to bring us back through faith. Because during the Sabbath, I mean, the Passovers and certain things that we were able to do, you're not able to do anymore, right? So when we go to Matthew 15 and 8, it says, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, right? So these would be people who would have wore their borders of blue and their fringes, you know? Um... Let me go here. Let me go to Mark 12. Well, no, first let me get Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth 
as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Well, how the hell would you be wise as a serpent when you're going out everywhere you go with these purple and gold fringes on, man? And harmless as doves. How the hell are you, would, would you be becoming harmless? Right? Uh, it makes sense. But I got so many so many things open, tabs. I don't know. I'm just going to go with the spirit. It says, Matthew 23. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge their borders of their garments. So you had Israelites, you know, who would, you know, make these extreme garments, these extreme phylacteries, right, to make themselves seem more righteous. And it says, enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost uh, rooms at feast and in the chief seats in the synagogue. It almost sounds like these guys. <laughs> Let's look up this word phylacteries. It says a fortified place for, provided by the garrison a um, preservative or safeguard, an amulet. The Jews used the word to describe small strips of parchment on which were written in following passages of the law of Moses, Exodus 13, 1 through 10, 11, 16, Deuteronomy 6, which I just read a little of that, and which enclosed in small cases, and they were accustomed when they engaged in prayer to wear fastened by a leather strap to their foreheads, right? And to the left arm over against the heart in order that they might thus be solemnly reminded of the duty in keeping the command, commandments of God. So this is why these guys don't teach the mark in Revelation 13. Uh, 13 because that's uh, where you're going to spiritually need the mark of the Lord. And not of the beast, right? When it comes down to it, that's when it becomes, because all of this is of the Lord's, that's when it becomes a physical thing on the left hand side and a spiritual thing on the right hand side, right? These scrolls were thought to have the power, like amulets, to avert various evils to drive away demons. So these guys need to understand why they're wearing these garments. Yeah, it's for the remembrance, but they at that time it was remembered, you know, you wore that as a border of blue and the fringes, right? As a reminder to the Lord and to drive away the demons. But you see, the Lord released demons on Jake with garments. Because if that the garments was going to save you, then all these Jakes that wore garments, why are they out? Why are they dropped out? Why are they ain't there no more? Why are these wicked evil men uh, to even turn on the Lord with garments. The the Pharisees were accustomed to widen and make broad their phylacteries that they might render them more cons conspicuous, conspicuous and show themselves to be more eager <laughs> than the majority to be reminded of the law of, uh, the law of God. So let's go back here to Matthew um, 10. And we're going to go down to, give an example, 10, and I um, uh, think I lost it. Let's go to Matthew, I know it's 10 right here, 10 and 41. And Yahawashah said over, this is Mark 12, Salaki and 41. And Yahawashah said over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury and many that were rich cast in much. Right, but remember the the uh, the laws, right? And there came a certain, now of course, IUIC will read this and make it their doctrine. I'm, I'm just saying. This is for the elect. And it says, and there came in a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, right? Which make a farthing, a farthing, and he called unto him his disciples and saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow have cast more in than all they that have cast into the treasury. 
Now suppose this poor widow didn't have a garment and border in blue. You see what I'm saying? That's It's because of your spirit and you loving the Lord. Because you had a lot of people who wore garments. You can read all, all of Matthew, uh, was it Matthew 23? They walk in with their chests out, throwing the money in there, big shots. For they all did cast in their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Right? So we could clearly see. Um, let's go on down here. I'm just making a point. Isaiah 52. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. That's what that's representing. You know? O Jerusalem, the holy city. Right? Now, when you go, you know, the scriptures all say, say, you know, talk about a Jew inwardly. So when you go down here to garments, it says treachery and deceit. Garment, clothing, right? That's what it says. It says treacherously, deceitful, deal treacherously. You know? Uh, that's just another definition of garment, right? So we can see when we read this, put on our beautiful garment, it's not just talking about some flashy garment with all kind of crystals on it, man. Although you can have a beautiful garment if that's what you want. But it goes deeper than these garments. It goes by faith, right? And this is what Paul was talking about. I actually just did a video yesterday on it, so I'm not going to go... Um, too much into that but you know what let me go let me go to um, let me go to Romans real quick is it three one of my favorite scriptures I like to pull on these particular topics let's go to Romans three and see what it says there's nothing wrong with trying to follow the laws to the best of your ability we're not saying Throw out the laws or throw out the commandments. We're not saying that. But this is why they got so mad at Yahawasha when he was healing people on the Sabbath day. They were saying this is unlawful. So according to them, Yahawasha was breaking the commandments. According to them. Because when you really deal with certain parts of the law, it became corrupt because people used it, right? For their own personal sacrifices. You know. Not to the Lord. Right. It says here. Um, let me go on here. 3. Romans 3. But now the righteousness of Yahweh without the law. Is manifested. Being witnessed by the law and the prophets. So there's a balance here. We can show you that loving the Lord, right? And we know that um, for sin is the transgression of the law. But the worst thing you can do is put on a bunch of garments, right? Phylacteries or whatever you're doing and don't believe in the Lord. And this, this Jake Israelite of the IUIC said that. So we know it's bigger than wearing garments. We know that. You should know that. Because you got people who can throw on garments and still don't believe in the Lord or still doesn't have faith in the Lord. <clears throat> That's why he said, be faithful unto death. But now the righteousness in, in Yahweh without the law is manifested. That's why Yahweh Shah came. Because of all the wickedness that was being done in the law. That's why he said, think not I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. I've come to fulfill. Right? Which they teach we're in the new, the new covenant. Well, he hasn't fulfilled uh, all of it yet. He still has more to go. For all have sinned and come short of the glory, being justified freely through grace, through redemption that is in Yahweh. Again, I'm not saying that, you know, not to wear your fringes. We are saying that you can't make that a full doctrine when you're going out into the workforce and everything you do. You got these borders of blue and fringes on, 
and you're being marked. That's why he said, I send you out in the, in the midst of wolves, be you know, uh, to be like a serpent, right? Where is boasting then? Is it excluded by the law? By what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. We could Therefore, we conclude that a man is, is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Why is he saying that? Because there's certain things you're not going to be able to do and you're going to have faith. Let me make an example. You got a guy, we had the end times, the uh, markers rolled around, they instituted it, and it's time to be delivered up. Now, who do you think going to get delivered? The guy that gets dragged into the to the uh, the court and say, you haven't uh, accepted the mark. So you're going to die. But they dragged you out of your bed. You had no time to get your fringes, right? But then the guy comes in there, I got my fringes on. But he t accepts the mark. Guess what? He's going. He's not going to make it. You know, you people don't understand it's beyond uh, the law when it comes to the Lord. Although we do follow the law. How close are you to the Lord? And sometimes because you think putting on fringes is not a, a, a whole justified means to, to say, hey, see, Lord, look at me. Remember that scripture that says, uh, um, let me get that real quick. Let me get that real quick. But let me finish this up. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Right? This is a scripture that the IUIC and a lot of these Israelite groups like to pull. It says, many will say unto me that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Right? And this is what they like to pull and say, see, these other groups are talking about the name this. Well, well, wait a minute. You guys says... The name don't exist now. So why are y'all flipping that and making it seem like we're speaking of Yahawashah? But true, some people who call on the name, right? If they call it on the name and ain't diligent and sincere, they never had the name. That's the whole point. Um, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, right? Meaning you had your garments. Meaning you had your garments. Right? You called on whatever name you thought you believed. Right? So here we go. It says, And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, that ye that work iniquities. Right? So it says, Many uh, shall say of me that day, Lord, Lord, has not cast out devils in thy name. So this group is saying the name, if it's Yahweh, it doesn't mean anything. You know, because a lot of people, this is why Matthew 13, 9 was uh, present. It was given to you to know the mysteries, but to them is not given. And that's one of the mysteries. Now, they just totally dropped the name altogether. What chance you had in getting closer to the Lord, you don't have. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.